All right, so the 2024 CVO Rogue Glide ST is out. If you haven't seen it yet, you definitely want to check that out. And so the question for me was, oh, am I going to get this motorcycle? I even asked you guys, I asked you on TikTok, I asked you on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to tell me what you think. And you guys helped me out, and I appreciate that with answers. Uh, but obviously, I wasn't depending on you guys to answer the question for me. But I just wanted to see what you guys thought. And I even asked some friends right now if they could get a motorcycle from Harley Davidson free of charge from the 2024 lineup, what motorcycle would they get? And this is what they said. The Road Glide CVO ST. The white Road Glide CVO ST all day. White yeah. ST CVO. There we go. I want the white Road Glide <laughs> CVO ST. White CVO ST. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I would go with if they gave me one today. Probably the Road Glide ST. Really? That's such a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the regular Road Glide. It would be the CBO Road Glide ST. What color? White. Definitely getting the 2024 CBO Road Glide ST. What color? Oh, definitely white. Okay. If the company was going to give me a motorcycle, mm -hmm. <clears throat> honestly, I'd probably choose the ST, the CBO Road Glide ST. Mm -hmm. I already have a what color? Uh, a white. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. CBO Road Glide ST. <sighs> Let me go get this motorcycle. Listen. Listen, baby. Stop, baby. All right, guys, again, huge shout out to Savannah Holly Davidson. You know, when I buy my motorcycles, I like to ride them out. So, of course, I want to thank them for that. But also out here, they park their motorcycles right in the front. They didn't used to do that. So pulling out and making a, a couple of U-turns um, was never an issue. But now all of the pre-owned motorcycles are parked in front of the dealership. So the funny part is, and here we go again with options. I asked uh, Lonnie, listen, I, I, I want to do my U-turns like I always do, but I got a couple of motorcycles. And he said to me, you want us to clear this out for you? How awesome is that? No, Lonnie, I don't need you to clear it out. I just need you to move two motorcycles and I'm good. And so I gave them some artwork 
And I didn't even know this was here, but one of the employees pointed it out to me and he told me I must be getting rusty. Why is this circle so big? <laughs> but he said, we're gonna leave that there <laughs> so we can show people what's possible on these motorcycles. So that's the circle, guys. And again, all that is, guys, for the people that go, oh my God, you just bought the bike, you're scraping it up. That's how I christen my motorcycles, right? But let me show you what's scraping the ground. Okay, so not all motorcycle footboards have this, but the Kahuna collection has it, and these have it. You see that thing right there? That is meant to scrape the ground, all right? Just so you guys know. There's nothing else scraping the ground except that. Now, if you get really low sometimes, this part right here can start to scrape. But again, all of that stuff is on the underside of the motorcycle. I'm never concerned about that. And if we look on the side I was making the U-turn on, Right, that part, that's scraped. And that's it, guys. That's it. All right, guys, normally when I do my practice sessions, I always have my motorcycle in front of my trailer, and I'm usually standing in front of the motorcycle. Not today, guys. This motorcycle is beautiful. And I've heard several people say this. This is the hottest motorcycle Harley Davidson has ever done, right? And I'm gonna have to agree with them. Like, I'm actually excited about this motorcycle. I look at it and I'm excited. That's not to say that I wasn't excited with any other motorcycles I bought, um, but this one is just speaking to me in a whole different way. And it's speaking to a lot of people in a whole different way. I can tell you that right now. So I'm very happy in the direction that Harley Davidson is going. Uh, not just this bike, uh, but the whole lineup. And, but I'm, again, I'm gonna talk to you about this bike. I'm not gonna go over a bunch of stuff because I am gonna do another video talking about this bike, why I decided to buy this bike, and um, comparing it to my 23 CVO, who, by the way, that's Misty. Uh, Misty is being replaced by this motorcycle. This motorcycle doesn't have a name yet, because I haven't taken it home yet. Anita hasn't seen this motorcycle. <laughs> Anita doesn't even care, really. <laughs> she really doesn't. She'll look at it and go, ooh, that's nice, you know. But, you know, she looks at it for a while and then she names it. But I want to thank Savannah Holly Davidson, I want to thank them for allowing me to use the range. This is where the range, this was closed, and they unlocked it and let me in here just so I can finish the video here. You know, big shout out to Lonnie. That's the sales manager. Um, he's the guy that I worked the deal with. Big shout out to uh, Eric. Eric is the salesperson that never has to work hard <laughs> to sell me a motorcycle. You know, it's just like if I'm buying a car. I already know I'm buying the car. I really don't need a salesperson. Uh, but I am going to take the bike back in there and have Eric, you know, set up the bike as far as showing me how to do the, uh, where you can start the bike without the key. Um, I'm pretty sure I can figure that out. I did it on my other bike, but I gotta let, I, he's gotta earn his money some way, right? Um, but big shout out to them, period. This is great here. Um, they allow me to ro ride the bike out. It's not the first time they allow me to do that. Um, and I appreciate that. Uh, guys, I'm almost at a loss for words. Now I am gonna do some stuff to this bike. I'm gonna change the mirrors, right? I like the mirrors that came on my 23 CVO, so I'm gonna put those mirrors on here. I love the direction that um, they went with the new engine guards. I'm gonna do the rear as well. Um, and a couple of other things. Like I said, I'm gonna to talk to you guys in another video about that. I also wanna thank you guys. I sent out something on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Did I do it on TikTok? I don't know, but on YouTube, definitely just asking people, should I make this purchase? And a resounding 99.9% .9 of you said, absolutely, yes. Some of you said, stop playing games, you know you already bought it, which I hadn't, I'm just buying it today. Some people said, you already know what you're gonna do, I see the smile on your face. I will say this, guys. This is the first motorcycle, and I said this in the, the video I did when I was just talking about um, this motorcycle coming out, and I titled that well, on the thumbnail, it says, damn it, because that's exactly what I said when this motorcycle was revealed. Um, I thought that in this uh, model year that I was good. There was nothing I wanted to get. And when I saw a picture of this motorcycle, I thought that what I was looking at was a modified version of this with aftermarket parts on it. But when I saw the reveal and saw that, wow, this is stock. This is stock. The rotors, stock. Now, the funny thing is I upgraded the rotors on my 23 CVO, so I like that look. I don't have to worry about it, they're on here. 
the front fender carbon stock stock like okay we're going to talk about it guys i'm keeping this video short i want to thank you guys for coming along with me i definitely had to bring you along with me for this this bike is phenomenal it is phenomenal now yes i rode this bike in las vegas and again shout out to holly davidson for bringing me out there to be a part of that this bike is fast guys i'm just going to tell you that it is fast and as a prior owner of a 23 cvo I can appreciate what this bike has even more. I can appreciate the, even the fact that that motorcycle was 35 pounds lighter when it came out than the motorcycles before it, the Road Glide before it. This is lighter than that, right? We're gonna talk about all of that. But imagine you wanna buy a motorcycle like this and you get to test ride it on a racetrack. Now, I had already made up my mind that I was buying this bike before I got out to Vegas to ride it. But all it did was make the decision that I was already gonna make more exciting to me. Concrete, it was more concrete. Like I knew what I was getting. It's not like, and it doesn't matter what I do out here on the roads of Savannah or wherever I ride, it's never gonna compare to what I was doing out there with my buddy Cycle Fanatics. Man, we were ripping up that track. We had this thing in track mode. Yes, it has track mode, track mode plus it has that as well. I'll talk to you guys about all of that in another video, but this is going to be a good year, guys. That's all I'm going to say for Harley Davidson and hopefully for you guys as well. Um, and whether it's dealing with Harley Davidson motorcycles or anything in your life, I think this is going to be a very good year. But for Harley Davidson in particular, with what they're doing right now, I'm going to talk to you guys about that in another video too, but oh my gosh, it's going to be a fabulous year. And a lot of you guys... Man, you're going to be very happy with what you get. I'm not going to get too much into it. Like I said, next video. I'm also going to be doing a video talking about Misty. Misty was traded in, so Misty's going to be here at Savannah Harley Davidson. I'll do a separate video talking to you guys about the price and everything that's going to come along with that motorcycle, which, by the way, only has 724 miles. That thing is brand new. <laughs> And yes, guys, pulling this motorcycle out of the dealership, if you're new to this channel, it is customary for me when I buy a new motorcycle, I take it into the parking lot and I immediately scrape the boards. That's how I christen a motorcycle. And for people that watch my videos that have never watched them and they go, oh my God, he's breaking the bike. He just bought it. The pipes are on the ground. None of my exhaust pipes have ever touched the ground. That's just something I do, guys. That's what we do here on this channel. Well, we don't all do it, but I'm talking about as far as the confidence to be able to ride my motorcycle in that fashion. That's what the main focus is on this channel. And if that's not something you're accustomed to, then you're in the right place. You might be here for this motorcycle, but we talk about how to actually ride them on this channel too. So check out my practice session videos. I also do private lessons out here in Pula, Georgia. Um, and I do traveling practice sessions. And you can go on my website and click on where it says upcoming events to find out where I'm traveling for my practice sessions. I might be coming to a location near you that's way closer than here in Pula, Georgia. And if you guys haven't seen the videos that I put out on not only this motorcycle, but on the street glide and the road glide while I was out in Las Vegas riding them, you have to check out these videos, guys. It is just phenomenal. And while you're checking out these videos, you want to check out Cycle Fanatic's channel, Tiffany Renee's channel, Traveling Tall's channel, Matt Laidlaw's channel, Riding in the Ozarks channel, Marvel Kid 87's channel, and a bunch of other content creators that were out there. If I forgot to mention your channel, I apologize. Uh, I'm just doing this off the dome. It's gonna be great stuff. And I, I advise you to watch them all because all of us are gonna be talking about the same motorcycles, but from a different perspective, I'm sure. Um, I don't want you to miss any of the information as it pertains to this. If you own a 2023 CVO Road Glide, I'm gonna be doing a video comparing these two motorcycles and I got some stuff to tell you guys as well um, that was improved on anything that you were having issues with on your bike 
or if you had a problem with something. I know there were some things I had a problem with, not serious stuff, but just it, you know stuff that was just annoying me. Well, they've addressed it. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to pack, I almost called it Misty. <laughs> I'm going to pack this motorcycle into the trailer, take it to the house, introduce it to the other girls, and that's it, guys. I'm a happy man. Um, I guess the only thing I'm going to have to deal with is I'm going to have to break this motorcycle in because I can't get crazy on it until it has at least 1,000 miles. You see, I didn't even get to 1,000 with Misty. But, you know, I'll get there, especially since the weather's always good here in South Georgia. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Hit that like button for the algorithm. Hit the notification bell, switch it to all guys, and share these videos. Spend more time being thankful for the things you have, guys, and less time complaining about the things that you don't. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. Break out of the mold of the average rider. And if you have time to ride your motorcycles, you have time to practice on them. That's not my opinion. Until next time.